Are you a paranormal traveler? From a young age, I have been curious and fascinated by the unknown and unexplainable. I also have a deep interest in travel. It, therefore, seems logical to combine these two interests, to travel to locations where paranormal incidents have happened and hopefully be lucky enough to witness these phenomena as they occur. Sometimes, it's also fun to visit locations where paranormal events have happened previously and are no longer occurring, but museums have been built to document these incidents, for example, the Mothman Museum in Mount Pleasant, West Virginia. Paranormal tourism is a relatively new niche field in tourism. Many people get the impression that paranormal tourism is merely about visiting haunted houses. But in this travel channel, I hope to expand the definitions of paranormal tourism from haunted locations to include other potential sites that explore the uncanny, weird, unusual, mystical, and mysterious. Specifically, my definition is, paranormal tourism involves traveling to physical locations on Earth where there have been events or phenomena that have happened or are still happening that are beyond our current scientific mainstream understanding of reality. Paranormal tourism also includes locations that serve to educate and provide information on these paranormal happenings. Unlike normal tourism, where the chance of seeing a physical attraction is virtually guaranteed if you take the time and effort to reach the location in question, this is unfortunately not always the case with paranormal activities. The chance of seeing something can range from virtually guaranteed in some cases, for example, visiting the UFO museum in Roswell, to almost impossible in others, for example, having a face-to-face -face encounter with the Sasquatch in the wild. But it's not just seeing something that the paranormal tourist is interested in, experiencing is also important. Many paranormal tourists have sensitivities to energy, and a vital part of their traveling involves sensing the energies of these places. I also wanted to distinguish paranormal tourism from dark tourism. Dark tourism involves traveling to places that are commonly associated with death, disasters, wars, and the macabre. For example, going to Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland would qualify as dark tourism but may not qualify as paranormal tourism unless you went in with the specific intention to conduct a paranormal investigation to determine whether lost souls are still trapped there. On the topic of haunted locations, there are so many all over the world that it is impossible to cover them all. Thus, I have listed those that fit the following criteria as best as possible. Accessibility. This removes almost all private locations not accessible to the general public. Frequency of unusual occurrences. I have picked those locations where the haunting is still currently active and the chance of actually having a paranormal experience is higher than normal. Intensity of paranormal experiences. These are locations where it's possible to experience something that is as physical as possible for a supernatural experience, manifestation of apparitions, poltergeist activities, manifestation of physical objects, etc. Similarly, there are many sacred spots in the world, some linked to mainstream religions, where miracles and other unusual events have happened in the past. Oftentimes, there is a great parallel between sacred and paranormal spots precisely because they are built on top of ancient power spots where ley lines intersect and points on earth where energy vortexes exist. Many people interested in the paranormal are also naturally drawn to the ley lines and vortexes concept, so excluding these would not make the discussion complete. However, as there is already much information on sacred spots, I have focused when discussing these sacred spots on the more paranormal aspects rather than the religious significance of these sites. The paranormal travel enthusiast has certain personality traits and attributes that make them drawn to some common topics. Generally, the paranormal travel enthusiast tends to be open-minded, curious, creative, and believe in non-mainstream ideas, and often belong to the category of people known as spiritual but not religious. As such, they are drawn to topics ranging from hauntings, UFOs and aliens, cryptozoology, alternative origins of mankind, Earth's energetics to conspiracy theories. I have included all these different aspects and more in this channel as much as possible. If this sounds like you, please like and subscribe to this channel. Due to the fact that many of the paranormal ideas are, by their nature, non-mainstream, please do not consider the information provided as scientific and archaeological truisms. A bit of a disclaimer. 
paranormal travel does carry a fair share of danger. This includes the real possibility of possession when visiting haunted locations. Disappearing into a portal where time and space gets warped when visiting vortex locations. Abductions and radiation exposure by aliens and UFOs. Mental instability after taking ayahuasca. Delaying your conventional health treatments when choosing to do psychic surgeries, so on and so forth. Specifically, psychedelics are illegal in certain countries, so please check your local legislations before venturing into this area. The information that I provide here can become outdated for all kinds of reasons, places close, people pass on, people stop doing things they used to do, transportation schedules change, etc. So I would suggest you do some research on your own and double confirm some of these information before you do embark on your own trip. During my research on where to go, I realized that there is no central resource where all this information is available, and I had to go to many sources to gather the information I needed. That was my motivation to create this channel for others who, like me, are interested in traveling to see for themselves how mysterious our world can be. Of course, this channel is a work in progress, and I welcome anyone with an interesting location that fits the description of a paranormal site to write them in the comments so that I can provide new content for you all. May you have endless amount of fun on your paranormal travel adventures.